Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. What we're going to do today is we're going to take off this brass inexpensive doorknob and we're going to put on something a little bit classier looking. So the way they come off and the way they get put back on again, eh, that's, that's two different things and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, if you would please, when you get a chance, subscribe. That would be wonderful. Thank you. So let's get busy and let's take this guy off. All right. So what we have here is just your basic your basic doorknob and it's got two screws here there are going to be two screws here and the whole thing comes apart all right watch all right so we'll take this one out and that's one and we're going to put in Take out this one here. These are pretty fine threads, so be fair. Before, when you're pushing on this, 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 hold this side of the doorknob so uh, the other side doesn't fall off when you get this, this uh, screw out of here. And here it comes. There it is. There's a second one. All right, so just because of that, we took that out. Then this now comes out. Okay. Once that's out, we can go ahead and start putting in the new unit after we take out the barrel. All right, so let's take this guy out. There's only two screws to it. Here's one, and here comes the other one. There, see, and this guy slides right out. All right, so we're good there. All right, let's put in the new one. Now this one here, this one's a little bit different uh, than the other one because The mechanism on the inside of this inexpensive one is is pretty similar to the new one that we're going to be putting in, but the outside is different because there's more more pieces to it. This is all in one, and this has got you got to put the plate on first, and then you got to put the handle on, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to put this together. Now it comes in two pieces. Now you can see that this is the locking mechanism here for the inside of the door and this is the hole where you'd put the key through to unlock it so the locking mechanism goes on the inside of the door. Okay, so let's put the barrel in first. All right, it goes in like this. And let's put the screws in. Remember we took the screws out of the other one? They're very similar to it. The only difference is because the other one was brass and this unit is a is a pewter, we're going to put in the pewter screws that come with it. There's one, and there's two. The holes line up, which is really nice. Okay, boom. Works perfect. All right, so here are those pieces I was telling you about. Now this comes through. Now you got this and you got this. They go through the hole here and the hole on the other side. So, and the center hole is going to line up with this curved item right here. All right, so you're going to put that curved piece in first. I like to go like this to make sure that it goes in. And then we, same thing here, line it up here and it connects right in. See? All right, so I'm going to move this over here like this so you can see me screw this in. There's two holes, one here and one here. 
and they line up with those two pieces that went in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put these screws right in there. Put the screw right in there. Okay, and we're going to screw them in. Now I'm holding this other side so it doesn't, because it, as I'm pushing on this, it's going to want to push all the way through, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hold the opposite side. All right, and I'm going to screw this in. So far, so good? Is this easy or what? Okay, almost in. And it is snug, not overly tight, just snug. Okay, now let's get the other one in. I don't have to hold this other side now. I can just go ahead and kind of speed turn it now. Okay. And we are good. All right. Perfect. Now, making sure that when this actually closes, that this curved area goes that way. Because if it was the flat area going that way, the door would just go clump up against the door, okay, up against the strike plate. The next thing that we do is that they supply us with these little rings. And these little rings go on here, and they click. Listen. Did you hear that? Let's hear it again over on this side. That's it. They're on. You don't have to turn them. You don't have to do anything. All right. The next pieces are the handles. The handles themselves. Okay. Now, the interesting thing about these handles are is that they've got Allen screw heads right here. The Allen head is in, on the inside of these, these parts here. And once this is put on, we have to use an Allen key to tighten them on. All right. All right. You ready for this? All right. So I'm going to go just like this. Put that one on there. And then I'm going to put the Allen key in, in the hole. And then I'm going to turn it. Okay. So far, so good. Took about three turns. And it's nice and, sec nice and secure. Now let's do the other one. We're going to slide it on. Got a little different angle there, right? All right. And then the Allen, the Allen screw lines right up. And we're just going to turn it into place. And get it nice and snug. Whoop. Let's try the other way. Almost there. We're almost there. Oh, I think that's it. There. Nice and snug. Now it works perfect. All right, so let's change the strike plate out. Now the strike plate is this thing right here. This guy right here. Okay. And you can see that there's a brass one on there now. But we're going to take this brass one off and we're going to put the matching color one that goes with the set. So we're going to take out the two screws that hold it in. There's one. And there's the other. 
And look, watch this, watch. This comes right off. Most doors already have this routered out to fit the new one. Goes right in. The holes line up. The kit comes with matching screws. I'm going to screw that right into place. There's one. And there's the other. And that's it. It wasn't that hard, was it? Just follow the instructions. The instructions come with every kind of a kit that you can get. So it's, it's actually pretty easy to do. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do this. You can do this. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. Like I did. And I'll see you on the next video.